Kenya lost over 200 billion shillings ahead of last year's elections due to illegal tax waivers, abandonments and exemptions to individuals and companies of powerful individuals connected to the state. Consequently, the Finance and National Planning Committee of the National Assembly has given the Kenya Revenue Authority a seven-day ultimatum to supply it with a list of all individuals and companies that benefited from the waivers. A meeting between members of the National Assembly Finance and National Planning Committee and senior officers from the Kenya Revenue Authority at a Naivasha Hotel turned stormy upon revelations that the country lost billions of shillings in the run-up to the August 2022 general election. <laughs> What we saw was uh, uh, inefficiency uh, in, in, in management, We're talking about irregularity in award of a contract. It is alleged that Treasury, which was supposed to enhance revenue collection, would instead give waivers exemptions and abandonments despite oppositions from KRA. There were people who uh, were being forgiven because abandonment is being forgiven, including principal tax. You know, uh, someone had, uh, some, some institutions have deducted pay, pay as you want from, from employees, they do not remit, and they just given a chance to abandon. Some of these decisions for abandonment were challenged by the Attorney General. The committee chairman Kimani Kuria blamed this for country's failure to achieve revenue targets. Have one side of government uh, trying, in terms of Kenya Revenue Authority, trying to raise revenue, and we have the other arm of government, the Executive Treasury, who really need this uh, uh, revenue so that we can pay all the pending bills and do development that actually approved this abandonment. He noted that majority of waivers, exemptions, and abandonments were conducted between 2021 and 2022, with beneficiaries being some government ministries, a Chinese company, individuals, and organizations that were run by powerful individuals in the country. During the meeting, the committee took issue with a contract entered between KRA and a foreign company on the printing of excise duty stamps. Why are you buying stamps in, 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 in euros, uh, you know, in the first place? Uh, but maybe for a good recourse, uh, they have been able to negotiate a stamp that we were buying at 1.8 shillings. Is now being, we are now buying it at one shilling. And so even the question is, if, if the supplier is willing to reduce the cost at which he was selling this stamp to us from one shilling and 80 cents to one sh shilling, then it definitely means that 80 cents were going to someone else's pocket. The committee gave KRA one week to furnish it with a list and documentation of all those who benefited from the waivers. The specific information we asked about abandonments, about waivers exemptions. and about exemptions that were given, we were not able to get that information today. And you have said we have given you up to 20th of March to service that information to public so that it can be uh, to Parliament, so that we can table that report to Parliament, so that that report can be subject to public scrutiny. For Legends Edition, I'm Ben Troy